Today's video is sponsored by HelloFresh. Hey Greens, and welcome to another fidget toy review video. More specifically, we're going to be looking at fidget rings. And some of these fidget rings were even viral on TikTok. Now, I've only experimented with a couple of different fidget rings, such as the one that's like a massager. And this one here that I know many of you don't like it when I call it a fidget ring. But let's be honest, it kind of is. Okay, I'm calling it a ring. Some of you want to call it a gear, that's fine by me, but I want to call it a ring. I mean, you don't have to wear it for it to be a ring. I mean, there's ring lights, ring tones. I mean, like, listen, listen to my ring tone. It's, mm -hmm, it's a pretty good one. And there's even ring words. What? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop. And heck, I mean, this is kind of a ring fidget toy, right? For those of you who don't remember, Ta-da! If you want more information on this, it's in the previous video, go and watch it. But more specifically, we're going to be looking at fidget rings that are more of the traditional type. So the ones that you can put on your fingers, because I've never tried them myself. By the way, let me know in the comment section below, have you ever tried an actual fidget ring? Let me know down below. And when we go on Amazon and check fidget rings, the ones that we get are basically looking the same. Like the base is flat and probably the top part twists, or there's some kind of little tiny balls that you can move around. And then there's the flower type or the diamond type. I have no idea what these are. They look interesting. And then there's the ones with the three different ring in one. That looks also interesting. So we're gonna try all of the varieties out. Obviously, we're not going to try the one that are colored. I mean, this is a pretty flower with a little bee but then it turns out to be $23 each, whereas I bought them for approximately $25 for six of them. I like me a bargain. And they did get four stars. Mind you though, I really like the one that's called ZZ Zippendel, just because I like that one. I mean, this one, oh my god, it's so pretty. I want it. But then all of the ones on that listing are exactly the same, just different colors, and I was like, I don't But at least you know you have the option if you do want it. By the way, for those of you new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. We do all sorts of fidget toy reviews and testing them out. In previous videos, we've done weird TikTok viral fidget toys and many other fidget toy mystery boxes. I'll leave a playlist down below of at least three to four videos, maybe five. We even did the fidget toy calendar. Those were interesting. Oh, click on all notification while you're here. It's gonna make you a grain of salt in the salt shaker family. Yes, it is a sharp pointy thing. No, it's not scary. Yes, you will enjoy it. And so I introduce you to Fidget rings from Amazon and basically everywhere else. They all look the same, basically. And I like how the presentation in the first one's like, hey, look, you just ordered some rings. Here's a nice box that looks like four rings. And I mean, okay, they're all individually wrapped. I can appreciate that. We'll look at these later. We have 12 of them in total. And it says, scan with the transparency app. The what? I'm guessing they mean just any kind of QR code app. Let's try that. Here we go. Do you even scan? No, I want, I want this one. Does it go anywhere? Okay, hey, why is this not going anywhere? What is the transparency app? Wait, hello? What's a transparency app? <laughs> okay, I'm obviously living under a rock because the second I type it into the app store, I write transpare and it says transparency app. What are you? So there's something called a transparency app. So product authenticity and more interesting. It seems to have gotten a pretty bad review. So we're not gonna download it. I don't really care if it's authentic. Let's just move on. <laughs> so the first one came with nice packaging and then the other one is like, you want fidget rings? Take this, you disgust to me. <laughs> It's basically just in a plastic bag, so no presentation, they get zero for effort. But here we go. And let's meet our contestants. All of these are a size 10. I wanted to get whatever size they had so that it's, you know, the most comfortable fitting. I'm guessing I know nothing about ring sizes, to be honest. I mean, sausage fingers, they didn't have sausage size. I did see S size. Maybe S is for sausage. No, Jackie, you fool. S is for small. You little pea brain. Okay, okay. All right, we're gonna have to take them out. You, you get out now. Two hours later. And this six piece set, why was that so hard to say? This six piece set. <laughs> a 
cannot see it. English, please help me out here. Cost me $16.99. This is Canadian, so it's about this much in US. And I do see one that has like three rings in it. I'm not quite sure what we're supposed to do with that or how is it supposed to fit on you, but let's just try. Because here they are, and this one is actually three. Oh, oh. Okay, so it's basically three in one. So let's go ahead and let's put on a small finger. <laughs> so here, oh, okay, it's a little weird. Hang on, let's let's try something a little bit more. Okay, so this is a normal, gosh, sausage finger. Okay, let's give it a little bit of a play around. And I am moving it, but I really don't feel that much more satisfied than if I was moving just the regular ring up and down. And because it's constantly moving on my skin, I can see this irritating and being annoying very quickly. So I'm going to give this, ugh, I really don't care for this. Maybe I just don't care about fidget rings? I mean, no. I'm gonna give this a two on 10. As much as part of me kind of wants to also look into these ones, I mean, let's face it, there's a flower and a bee. Don't tell me that's not cute. Don't, no, don't, don't say that. What do you mean, what am I gonna do about, you don't, come here, fight you. I gonna fight you, but go easy on me because I'm fragile. But I feel like let's go for each set and then we're gonna judge each set where they are worth your cash or if they go. In the trash. We're gonna put the fancy box on the side. The next one that caught my attention though is this one because this is an actual chain. It was droopy just a second ago. Hang on, let me show you. So this chain actually moves. Look at that. See, it actually goes up and down. So the fact that it goes up and down makes it so that not only are we having a motion, but we have a texture. I actually thought this was a solid piece, but it's very flexible. So let's give it a try. In y'all go on my sausage fingers. Just to let y'all know, I am allergic to metal. So they're not staying on my hand long enough for them to be dangerous. However, just so you're aware, that's the reason why for some of you who might want to ask. But Jakey, how come you're not wearing a ring? You're actually married. I know, we're actually both allergic to metal. <laughs> and we're not very good at upkeeping things, so, you know, we know we're married. We don't need any of everyone else. Just stay out of my business. <laughs> okay, so back in here, and I can tell right away, immediately, this feels way better than the first one. Oh, yes. Oh my, I just got goosebumps. Holy shrimp, this feels so good. Yeah, this feels really good. It has nice flow. It doesn't get stuck anywhere. You can turn it back and forth and just putting it out. You can take it off. You can put it here, make it a little tighter and then you could just use one finger. Also, this is very satisfying. And because it's not directly on your skin, there's no way this is going to irritate you. Holy moly, I love this. Ooh, as far as fidget ring goes, I'm going to give this an eight. An 8 on 10. Okay, this is getting excited. I just got one of the worst ones and one of the best ones all one after the other. So I know exactly what I'm to expect now. Let us go with this one. I'm just taking it randomly at this time. Oh, what is that? Is that a defect? No, it's just poo poo. It's just poo poo on there. <laughs> I know I've become somewhat of an expert at fidget toys, but you know, you don't have to trust my word. I'm just saying. All right, so here we go. Oh, that's that's too bad. I actually thought this part would have more texture, but it just looks like it has texture. See, it looks sandy and gritty, but it actually doesn't have that texture. It's very minimal, barely. You can barely feel it there, which I think is a missed opportunity. It does feel nice, but it's a missed opportunity to add textures on this, which would have made it feel way more awesome. Uh, kind of a meh for me. Way better than the first one, that's for sure. Yeah, I'm gonna say for me, it's probably a five on 10. Again, I'm going to take them randomly, and our next victim is, ooh. We have a kind of sun, stars, and moon. Do they have a texture? Yes, they do. It's a little bit of an engraved texture, but a texture nonetheless. So that already feels much better. And let's touch the texture. So this already is pretty nice. You don't even have to rotate this. Just by the fact of having a texture, it feels pretty good. Now let's turn it around. Yeah, when you turn it around, you don't feel the texture. So yeah, it's, it's nice. Not great, but it's nice. I'm gonna give it 6.8. Yeah, mm, seven, seven, I'll give it a seven. <laughs> Also, there is a bit of a sound. Hear that? So you can hear the texture. And then we have, okay, the same thing. Does this make you any special? No. So the difference between the two, so we do have moons and stars. This one, we do have the sun. The first one was engraved towards the inside. This one just kind of has cutouts. 
it doesn't really feel like anything. There's a little bit of crevices that you can feel, but really nothing that interesting about it. Okay. Oh, that's a little upside down, isn't it? You select it. Okay, so here it is. And no, like the texture is not even that nice. The twirl is a little on the scratchy side. No, I don't like this. I'm gonna give you a five, five on 10. And the last one within this first set before we go on to the flowers is, oh, flowers. Well, if that ain't a darn gosh darn coincidence. <laughs> Okay, so we just have flowers and there's really nothing special about them. It feels exactly like the previous one. We do have a little bit of an indent for the flowers, but let's put it on, very scratchy. Is it pretty? Yeah, absolutely. Is it better than the alternative, which is using your own ring and kind of irritating your finger? Absolutely. But in terms of satisfactory feel, I feel like I would still give this one a five. And again, the twirling, look, it's it's giving me some resistance. And it's a little, oh gosh, it's, oh gosh, turn, turn dang nabbit. It's not satisfying. None of them are able to get the satisfaction level of this one. This one by far has texture. It moves beautifully. Oh my gosh. If you see this one, holy shrimp grains, get it. If you want to, of course. But oh my god, I love this so much. Beautiful. And yes, the inside will not irritate you because it's just one piece. This is, of the entire set, this is the best one, the rest are But the question is, will this set actually do better? Do you like food that is both delicious and sustainable? Now is the perfect time to talk to you about today's sponsor, HelloFresh. For those of you who don't know HelloFresh, they are America's number one meal kit delivery service with pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes. And I'm not joking when I say that the meals from HelloFresh are absolutely delicious. Everything from family friendly, veggie, pescatarian, they have you covered. And I love that the fresh produce is sourced directly from farmers. Let's make something. Mushroom tart. Prepping the puff pastry, one, two, three, and poof, magic. Time to get cooking. Now to put the filling and in the oven it goes. And holy carp, here it is. I never thought I would make a mushroom tart, but here we are. And I mean, I like salad, so I don't, I don't think I'm not gonna like it, but let's go ahead and try this little pizza. Ooh, it's really melty. Bottoms up. Mmm. Oh, I did not expect this to be sweet. And I'm not talking dessert sweet. I'm saying like it's nicely balanced. I thought it would be earthier, but pleasantly surprised. Okay, yeah. And if you're looking for a lovely night, HelloFresh has Valentine's Day three course dinners featuring a shared starter, scrumptious sides, and a decadent dessert. That way you can skip the overpriced restaurants and have fun cooking together if you want. Not just that, but you also get to save time with recipes that are anywhere between 20 minutes to 35 minutes, easy cleanup, low prep time. It's a value that can't be beat. So what are you waiting for? Go to hellofresh.com and use the code nerdycrafter16 for up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. Again, that's hellofresh.com. Use the code nerdycrafter16 for up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. Thank you HelloFresh for being huge supporters of this channel and sponsoring today's video. By the way, the previous set at $16.99 makes it so that each one is approximately $2.80-ish, but this one here cost me $24.99, which means that each one is about $4.15. I'm guesstimating here. Tell me I was right on at least one of them. <laughs> And there was no size option for any of this. It's supposed to be one size fits all, which I hate that term so much. I just do, okay? It depends where it comes from, what size the population generally is over there, and then it doesn't translate well. <laughs> okay, they also come individually wrapped. We also get six in here. This is a very nice box though. It's not even a print, it's an actual, it's an actual texture. It's actually pretty good. All right, you know what time it is. What? You decided to watch this? <laughs> so here are the six that we got. I didn't touch them, I just kind of placed them. So I didn't want to fidget with anything. But we do get three of the same kind of idea, which are little ball things. And then, don't take it out of context, okay? They're just little balls that you can move around like this. <laughs> and then here we have two diamonds and one flower. 
feel like I want to start with this one first because I don't think these are going to be any good. First of all, it's supposed to be one size fits all, so we're going to tamper with it. So we're supposed to be able to open it like so. Voila. What the? What in weird shapes is this? Okay. Secondly, these balls are directly on the skin. What? This is just sounding wrong. <laughs> the little spheres are directly on your skin. So depending on how often you move them, oh boy. <laughs> okay, let's just let's just put it on our finger. How awkward this is. Okay, so we have this facing down. You can clamp it a little bit. And here it is. Okay, this is not bad. It does have a stopper, so you can go all the way around. It does get a little annoying on the skin. But yeah, you can move one at a time. This does feel good, but at the same... Oh, ow, ow. That just pinched me. Okay, I take that back. Oh, wow, that's pinchy. Okay, so as I'm moving these in between here, the space, as I pushed this towards the other one, it grabbed a little bit of my skin and pulled it. Is it major? No. Did I exaggerate? Slightly, but it did pinch. Very unpleasant when you're trying to focus on just... Yeah, it's actually... No. It's like a roller coaster of emotions. I'm like, oh, this is great. Ow. Oh, I love this. Mm. <laughs> See, I'm gonna... Oh, man. This is such a missed opportunity because it does feel kind of cool, especially if you want to move it towards the front and just move it this way. It does work. It does go back and forth pretty nicely. It's less irritating on this side. And for those of you who want to say, JK, maybe you made it too tight. Okay, let's make it much bigger. And here it is. Does that help any better? No, because the second you're trying to rotate this, the entire thing moves. So it kind of removes the actual satisfaction level because the whole thing just moves. So you need it to be not too tight, but just enough so that you can move the entire thing. Ah, I really wanted to love this. I really did. I feel like if we had a first layer, kind of like this, in where the balls had a track to move on, it would have been absolutely phenomenal. No irritation whatsoever. But yeah, my, my skin is starting... I really don't like this. I can't even complete a full sentence. It bothers me. It's what I'm trying to say. Hang on, let me try another finger. Maybe I'm being too sensitive. So here it is on my least sensitive finger. Wait, where'd the other ball go? Did I always have three? Oh no, there are four. Okay, anyways, back and forth. Yeah, there. it's okay. It, yeah, okay, now I'm starting to feel the irritation. Yeah, definitely a little bit on the irritating side. I'm going to give this... Oh, man, I really wanted to, like, 6 on 10. 6 on 10. Something is scratching me. All right, I knew something was bugging me, and... Okay, you know what? I could have called them beads this entire time. I totally could have called them beads. Okay, so the junction of these beads, if you can see, there's a line down the middle. That's what was scratching me. I know it seems tiny and minuscule, and some of you who've never had a piece of cat or animal or dog hair stuck in your foot, which was so tiny but hurt so much, if you've had that experience, let me know. Just one hair, one pet hair in your foot is going to ruin your day, okay? If you've had that experience, let me know in the comment section below because I have cats and I know how that feels. Or a mosquito. Mosquitoes are tiny, but they hurt as heck. So yeah, the junctions of these beads, definitely irritable. <sighs> I don't like it. They miss the mark. And this one, how are you different? Is it bigger beads? Okay, so it looks like it's the same size beads. We just have here, we have circles for the ends. And here we just kind of have a kind of loop-de-loop. -loop. I personally feel like this one is going to give us the exact same thing, yes, exact same issues as the previous one. So let's go ahead and put it in. But I do have to say that the one size fits all, yeah, it's definitely customizable to different sizes. And it can go even bigger if you want, which I can appreciate. However, let's feel this again. Yeah, still gonna irritate the finger. Still on the annoying side. I guess you could could just hold it like this and move it one at a time but there are way better handheld kind of rings if that's the case nah same as the other one not that great here's the rating again in the same fashion we have this one what are you so this one just seems like a normal ring but let's open it up a bit <gasps> <gasps> Okay, I did not expect it to snap. It's not even the actual size of the other ones. Look, ow, ow. Oh, that is scratchy. Well, that's probably because it broke. So zero on 10 for that one. However, let's continue trying it because it's supposed to fit like the other ones. Wow, that did not, oh boy, that did not work out. Zero on 10 if you can't adapt to size. The other ones stretched out quite a bit. This one just snapped, holy shrimp. Okay, but let me try anyways. ways. Oh gosh, oh boy, oh boy, oh gosh. Okay, oh that is worse! 
That is way worse than the first. Oh, that is scratchy. Ow, 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 ow. Basically, these parts here are digging into the skin. Mm -mm, I do not like that. And they're scratching every single, holy sh I hate this. I hate this so much. Zero on 10, it broke, it's garbage. I didn't think it would be worse this set than the previous one, but you, my friend, have just proved me wrong by doing this. <gasps> In the trash! Bye-bye! So that was a testament of the quality so far, even though the other two did pretty well. Let's start with the other diamond. Actually, instead of going for any of the other diamond, because they kind of look the same, I want to do the flower. Because the flower itself looks detached from the actual base, so there shouldn't be any kind of irritability I'd say questionably with a high-pitched voice. But this is adorable. Look at that. We have a little leaf on the side. We have a little bay. And, ooh, let's twirl that. Ooh, oh, oh, you go. Oh my god. Well, that was going for quite some time. It's almost like a fidget spinner. Now the question is, is it true? Hang on, does this move? Okay, so the B does not move. Please be one size, because otherwise, that's, that's as far as it goes for me. And for my little finger, barely, barely, barely. So please don't break. Please don't break. Please don't break. There you go. Okay. Voila. And I have to say this is really cute. We have our little bee. We have our little flower. And now the question is, how does it feel? Oh, that is fun. And even just the spinning has a little tiny vibration. I'm, I'm getting goosebumps from the vibration. It's very minor, but if you have a little bit of a sensitive skin, you're going to feel that bit of vibration that I am feeling right now. And it does feel nice. And if you don't want to twirl it, you can just kind of move it yourself with your finger, kind of how I'm doing right now. This is also pretty satisfying. It does have texture on the top. And you can see that the flower on top here has texture. By the way, you can see how my skin is irritated from the, uh, the pearls in the previous one. Yeah, it's definitely scratched under there. But yeah, this one, I love the sound. Listen. And it's not directly on your skin. This feels good. I think one of the things that you should look out for for fidget rings, from what I understand, is do not get the ones that go directly on your skin. Ideally, look for something that has a bit of a barrier on the inside, like this. And ideally, if it has texture, even better. The experience is absolutely wonderful. This one, yes. For sure. I like this one. It's portable. It's pretty. It has texture. And yes, it does conform to different sizes. It didn't snap, which is great. Okay. Yeah. This one, I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you an eight, but the question is, can we make it bigger? Yes. So it didn't snap, which yes, I'm going to give this an eight, eight and a half, maybe even because it's pretty and I'm, I'm a sucker for pretty, pretty looking jewelry. <laughs> I can't wear them. And next we have two different looking diamond-ish rings. Again, same concept. They're not directly on your skin, which is already a bonus. So that's starting off pretty well. And does it have, do they have texture? So shiny, oh my God. Yes, they both have texture. So if you're into diamond looking things, these are cute, but let's see if they stand, if they stand the one size fits all test. Opening. Okay, and we won't put you here. Oh, that does not have any support. That's gonna come off, yeah. Ow, <laughs> I poked myself. There's no support. Like this is the right size right here, but it doesn't wrap forward enough, which means that this, look at that, comes right off. So yeah, no support, huge bummer. Let me close it off a bit. Yeah, still no support, none whatsoever. If they would have made it a little longer, kind of like with the bee that wrapped around a little more forward, that would have been better. But there's no support on this one. Ugh, you're already losing points. Oh, and the spin is garbage. Look at that, real time. Not very good. Versus this one. That just keeps going, look at it. I'm not even changing anything. It's going, go little rock star. It's still going. I'm just gonna let it keep going over there. Yeah, this is, oh my gosh, this is garbage. On its own, it spins fine. That is weird. But then when you put it on you, there's no support. If I had made it bigger, let's, let's just make it bigger. So no support and it spins, but ugh. Yeah, the second you put your finger straight, yo, nope, 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 nope. Absolute trash. <sighs> Concept is good. It had, it almost had it. It was almost there. Unfortunately, I'm going to give this, I mean, it didn't break. So I'll give it a two. Design flaw now that I just, let's try the next one. Are you also a problem? Let's make it bigger. Let's spin it. And how do you spin? 
Oh, look at you. It has a nice spin to it, but then let's put it on here. Yeah, oh, shrimp. Less support than the other one. How is that possible? Here, let me put a little bit so at least it stands. Okay, so at least it's holding, but it will come off easy. And how's the spin? Look at that. I'm trying to get it support. Nope, nope. Even, how, how did they manage? Garbage. Ugh, ow. Oh no, how do I get this off? <laughs> okay, there. Yeah, even less support than the first one. I can make it bigger, and yeah. At the cost of support, we're losing everything on that one. So, I'm gonna give it the same thing. If you see these, stay away from them. Moral of the story, out of all 12 different fidget rings, there were only two that made sense. So if you see all these viral TikTok videos about fidget rings, be very cautious. These two definitely, definitely take the cake absolutely wonderful and I could definitely recommend them. Just make sure you, I guess, get a good quality one. Let me know in the comment section below if you agree or disagree with me on any of these fidget rings or if you've had any of them, but my fingers really are irritated from the ones that had direct skin contact. I'm just gonna say that out loud. If you want to watch more viral TikTok fidget toys, make sure you check up here. If you want to watch something a little crafty because you're feeling inspired, make sure you check down here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.